Hello and welcome to Christmas with Artitude Cosmetics. I'm Steph for those of you who don't know and today I'm just going to be playing with a few products from Artitude Cosmetics including the brand new VIP exclusive palette which looks like this. Absolutely stunning. So if you would like to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. So firstly, I just want to show you the box that the palette came in. Look at this, it came with a beautiful ribbon around it. Absolutely gorgeous. And here is the palette herself. It comes with a massive mirror and obviously this sheet which we will remove. And this is what we are playing with today. So, I am first going to go into Boss, which is this beautiful colour up here. And Boss, I am going to place kind of in the outer V and along the R. So, Artitude Cosmetics is a UK based indie brand. And uh, they are completely cruelty free and vegan, which is wonderful. And it's run by a really lovely lady called Rux. She really cares about her customers. She's just, she's so sweet. And uh, so I do actually have the Colour Splash palette, which looks like this. And there is the inside. Um, so far playing with this I absolutely love it the quality is brilliant and it's only 19.99 so yeah I've also tried um some of Artitude Cosmetics lashes and the lashes are really really good I I really love them the lashes come in quite a few uh different designs they are I've got a few of them um you can either get them in the singles box, which looks like this, and then you've got your lashes inside. Or you can get the collections, and this one here is the Bad Girls collection. And you get the three. The lashes come up at, I think it's a $6.99 a pair, which is uh, very affordable, I think. And they are very, I've found them to be very sturdy um, so far. Um, I've had a few uses out of a couple of the pairs and they're still going strong. So like I was saying, they last really, really well. And I think part of that is because I use the Altitude Cosmetics Catitude. It is a liner and lash adhesive in one. And it just, there's you don't have that glue to pick off of the eyelashes afterwards. So... It preserves them a bit better. Um, that is fantastic. I, I'd i love that. <laughs> and it's made my life so much easier where I've been in so much pain recently just to be able to not have to worry about gluing lashes. So, yeah. <laughs> that colour is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Next, I'm going to dip into this beautiful purple here, VIP. And, oh, I didn't sell brush I was using. The first one's just a little Morphe brush. Um, doesn't have a name or number. And the brush I'm going in with now is the Jessup 231 Luxe Petite Crease. And that is the one I'm going into VIP with. Now, this one, I am just going to be gently taking around the edge here of boss so just to blend out those edges a bit this is beautiful I'm only taking a tiny bit because having worked with the colour splash palette I am aware of how pigmented the shadows are so I am going very carefully around the edge here these they blend out so beautifully i knew i was going to love this palette i was so desperate for it when uh, 
I saw that it was releasing. Well, I was desperate for it before I even saw what it looked like because I knew the quality was going to be amazing. So I chose to uh, play more in the purple section because I know they um, can be the hardest to formulate so that they're not patchy. And look at that. The blend just speaks for itself really, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks so pretty. I've really got the shake so bad today. So if you can see it, I'm so, so sorry. Um, but I've, today's a really bad pain day. So if, it, if the video is really choppy, a lot of editing, I'm really sorry. I've, I'm having to take a lot of breaks just to, well, <laughs> Just to sit and feel sorry for myself because it hurts. All right, I think I'm literally just going to go over the edges slightly. Which one with? With heroin, this one here. And just to ever so gently, that's my stomach, sorry. And just to ever so gently blend the very edges there. Another beautiful color. Ooh, that works really well now I'm not usually a neutral lover however I wouldn't actually say this is a completely neutral palette um, got this red here this red looks beautiful I did um and ah about going for the red and gold but I figured loads of people are doing that so I'm going purple purple and pink and gold maybe um but yeah the the colours, there's such depth, you've got the pinks, you've got the purple, the red. So I would say it's more than just a neutral palette. Um, there's an orange there too. But yeah, I haven't actually swatched this yet. Well, if I do at the end, then you'll see at the beginning, but I haven't. Um, just purely because I found very much recently that, um, that swatches have kind of influenced how I've viewed a palette. So I wanted to play with the palettes a bit before doing swatches just so that my opinions are based solely on how the palette is performing on my eyes because although I go in with the intention of only using um, the swatches as a guide for colour I find that I do head for the ones that I think swatch better which is not a great idea because some eyeshadows swatch amazingly and then apply crappy to the eyes and others really swatch badly but then they work so beautifully on the eyes sorry I was just checking I was still filming then um but yeah so so some that swatch amazingly well just it they just don't work out they're terrible on the eyes and uh I just didn't want that influence when I was playing with a new palette anymore. So you probably won't see swatches until I've actually used a palette, tried it out uh, at least a couple of times. Um, just for that reason alone. So I wouldn't like to be unfair to a palette and judge it based on the swatches. And yeah, so sorry, just dipping back into VIP, the middle purple, just to re-intensify that slightly I am loving how these are blending together they are just blending so seamlessly I just can't fault it you can see for yourselves how well they're blending there's no patchiness at all which is amazing obviously and then back into boss the first color just to bring some of that depth back in the outer corner and crease i'm really loving these i think like i've said probably a few times recently indie brands are just killing it absolutely killing it because the products are just amazing i'm i'm not finding any difficulties with any that i'm trying at the moment maybe i'm just lucky and i'm picking the right ones but I have been so impressed. So for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna be using the same three, Boss, VIP and Heroin. 
just uh, the same as on the top but boss I'm going to take as close to my lash line right tuck it right up in there yep that is beautiful and then the uh, second shade I'm using the same brush without any extra product just to bring that other color down just connecting it on the outer edge here so that they kind of blend in together beautiful and then just back in with the first uh, and just back in with the brush that I used for the lighter pink so heroin and just buffing the edge there yeah that's looking really nice and um, so before I go on I did want to mention the K-Kit liners that Artitude Cosmetics does um, they come in a 10 gram pot which is amazing and they I can't pick all of them up in one go and uh they are only 9.99 see i have these five colors here and they are amazing they are so so good absolutely brilliant i really need to do a video using all of these um it's just getting around to it there's just i've had so much to try and with it being christmas i wanted to get all the festive stuff in whilst well whilst i could <laughs> So I'm going to quickly nip off, pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to finish the eyes with you. Okay, so NYX Glitter Primer on and for the lid, I think I am going to be dipping into first Mogul and putting that across the most part of my lid. I've been really excited about trying this one. Um, so yeah, the cake it liners that i was talking about oh look at this the cake it liners i was talking about come in 30 different shades and uh you can also get bundles so the more you get the better the deal um which again i think is absolutely fantastic and also the fact that they uh this is so pretty um also the fact that they come in 10 gram pots um, which is unusual to see most of them seem to come in much smaller pots I am loving this colour it's like it changes oh, it's got different reflects in it oh, look at that so I'm just going to leave a section open for another colour and uh, Artitude Cosmetics also does a beauty box for $39.99 and in the box there are two K-Kit liners, four pairs of luxury lashes, a uh, colour splash palette and unicorn face crystals, uh, two packs. Um, and I do have some of the unicorn face crystals actually. So uh, I have this set here of luxury face crystals um which i fully intend to try out at some point <laughs> just getting around to it um but yeah so all of that comes in the beauty box for only 39.99 which leaves a massive massive saving oh this is so pretty <sighs> rux you really did it this is absolutely gorgeous and I've been excited about this colour since it was first sneak peeked before the whole palette was shown and it really hasn't let me down shift there's a gold shift in it like pink and gold I don't know how well you can see that on the camera but it is absolutely stunning I like to look at in real life I don't know what the the lighting and camera do to wash it out but that is beautiful I love it okay so there was a little bit of fallout but it just swept away really easily so next I'm going into star this really beautiful light gold and I'm going to be placing that one on the inner parts that's left open 
So yeah, both of the palettes, ooh, ooh, both of the palettes retail for £19.99 and uh, they're really worth it. They are so worth it. Like I said in a previous one, I, I'm only doing um, Christmas with Indie Brands videos with brands that I'm happy to recommend. And, well, you probably can see for yourself why I'm happy to recommend this brand. Also, I love that Rux is just a really lovely person. And you can message her and she's more than happy to chat. She's just lovely. So lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. These colours are just working beautifully together. This was a really well thought out colour story. I know that Rooks has been working on this for a long time. And uh, it's really paid off. Because, just look at that. Alright, I'm just going to go back in with a bit of Mogul, the uh, first shimmer, just to uh, blend that in a bit more. That is so stunning, absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to jump back in with a bit of Boss, just uh, at the outer edges, just to blend it all in a bit. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. And Rux, another amazing palette. I'm I'm so excited for you. The launch was just, it was done so perfectly. Um, all of the, well, the first 50 palettes to have been bought came with a scratch card um, where you could, there were various things there like a certain amount of free lashes. And one person would get the £100 cash. That was the prize in the main one. Um, I was fortunate enough to get some free lashes. I love Artitude Cosmetics lashes. I There are only two brands of lashes that I wear now, and that is Artitude Cosmetics and Makeup by Lisa. Both lashes, they're perfect. I don't need any others. So that's that. So I'm going to quickly nip off, finish my face and come back to show you the final look and have a chat. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm back with the finished look. I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, I did go in on the inner corner and brow bone with Star for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. Um, I completely forgot to do it on camera, so I am so sorry. The blush I have on is from Pout and Shout Typhoid Mary. The highlighter is from Ofra in Rodeo Drive. The mascara is Barium, that's how I roll. The eyeliner is from Artitude Cosmetics. It is the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One. I highly, highly recommend this. If you don't like messing around with lash glue, if you like just to put your liner on, stick your lash on and go, it is perfect it works so well I'm just having a look at the price it, it retails for 11.99 that's British pounds um and it's well worth it it is so so good I I love it the lashes I have on are from Artitude Cosmetics also they come in this beautiful little box and they are in the style queen I was going to show you the inside of the box there but they're on my eyes so that's what I have popped on so this palette oh my god Rux I love this I absolutely love it it really is like glam VIP exclusive was definitely the correct name for this palette it is beautiful and with the names like magnate famous executive queen royalty celebrity influencer look it is so beautiful I am so, so happy with that. And as for Artitude Cosmetics, I will pop the link to Artitude Cosmetics website in the description box below. Go ahead and check her out. The products are amazing. Absolutely. 
All of the eyeshadows I've tried so far are highly pigmented, really easy to blend. The eyelashes, I, I've loved every pair I've tried so far. These are no exception. And the Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in One is a must, an absolute must. So yeah, that is it. The final episode of Christmas with Indie Brands and we're finishing on a good one. It's Artitude Cosmetics. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like, a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So that's it from me. I hope you are all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. So I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.